Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this episode of Ask a Nurse, I'll be answering your questions about aspergillosis, such as what is aspergillosis? What are the symptoms of aspergillosis? And how is aspergillosis diagnosed and treated? Aspergillosis is a lung infection caused by a fungus. Specifically, it is caused by breathing in spores from aspergillus, which is a common mold found in the environment, both indoors and outdoors. Most people do not get sick from aspergillus. They breathe in spores every day without any problem. However, individuals with a weakened immune system or an underlying lung disease may become ill with aspergillosis. The three main types of aspergillosis include allergic aspergillosis, chronic aspergillosis, and invasive aspergillosis. Symptoms of an infection can vary depending on what type the individual has. In some cases, symptoms can be very mild, but in other cases, symptoms can be life-threatening. Allergic aspergillosis often causes asthma-like symptoms, such as wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing, as well as congestion and a headache. Symptoms of chronic aspergillosis include a chronic cough, coughing up blood, weight loss, and fatigue. Invasive aspergillosis occurs when the infection moves from the lungs to another part of the body. Symptoms will vary depending on what part of the body is infected. If the brain becomes infected, this can cause symptoms such as confusion and seizures. If the skin becomes infected, this can cause skin lesions such as ulcers. This is in addition to symptoms such as a fever, chest pain, shortness of breath, and coughing up blood. In terms of diagnosis, your provider will review your medical history, risk factors and symptoms, and perform a physical exam. If they suspect that you may have aspergillosis, then a chest x-ray or CT scan will likely be ordered. These imaging tests can help identify characteristic signs of aspergillosis, such as aspergillomas, which are fungal masses in the lungs. In addition, a respiratory fluid sample may be obtained to test for the presence of aspergillus. Blood and or skin tests may also be ordered, and in some cases, a tissue biopsy, such as a lung biopsy, may be needed to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment of aspergillosis typically includes the administration of an antifungal medication, such as boriconazole. In addition, corticosteroids are often prescribed to help decrease inflammation. And for patients who have an aspergilloma or fungal mass in their lungs, surgery may be recommended to remove the mass. That's it for this episode of Ask a Nurse. I hope it was helpful. If so, be sure to hit that like button, stay informed, and stay well.